Hi, my name is Andrew Hallam. I'm author of Millionaire Teacher and Millionaire Expat. I have a couple of questions that I want to pose to you and then my hope is that you can respond to them in the comments section below and be kind to one another. Perhaps you'll end up with a lively debate, but I want everybody to respect everybody else's opinions and to be kind. So my wife's really gonna hate the fact that I put these questions on chicken scratch paper like this. She's gonna say it's not very professional. I don't care as long as you can read it. Okay, so here are my questions. We saw something on the news hour, at least I did the other day, that suggested that people should be spending more money after the pandemic than they did previous to the pandemic. Should they? Should they not? Question two, if somebody doesn't have three to six months worth of living expenses, and or they have student loan debt, should that person have purchased a car worth 10,000 USD or more? Really curious to hear what your thoughts are on this. And I understand, of course, that there's so many people who cannot have three to six months worth of living expenses set aside in a savings account. My family would have been one of those families. So growing up, there were four children. My dad was a mechanic and my mom worked a retail job. And there was just no way that they could have set aside three to six months worth of living expenses. And I totally get that. The, the part that I'm really curious about is high income families, high income people. And I'll call high income anything that's higher than 50% of 50% above the median household income in your given city. So for example, I'm in a city called Victoria, British Columbia, and the median household income here is $70,000 a year. So I would suggest that any family that earns a pre-tax income of $110,000 plus would be high income. Those families should have, at least the hope is, they should have uh, at least three to six months worth of living expenses. If they don't, it could be the fact that they have student loan debts, they're perhaps new to the, the profession, and they're just like hammering down that student loan debt, like taking it down, which is absolutely what they should be doing. That's fantastic. But there are a lot of people who aren't in that position because we're in a culture of spenders, which brings me to that first question where should we be told to be spending more money after the pandemic, more money than we normally would have, knowing that we're a culture of spenders? Or are we like dogs, you know, if given an opportunity to go into a trash can, are we just gonna like gorge on that food, like ah, and then, and, then, and then puke afterwards, get really sick, and then five, six days later, we see that trash can again, like ah, off we go, and we gorge again into that trash can, and we get sick again. You know, do we need to be told to spend more money or people are just are people just going to do it there are so many people that are unable to pay their their rent and unable to pay their mortgage and and because it's because they don't have three to six months worth of living expenses if they have the means to do so um should they uh you know i'm really curious as to why they, they're struggling the i suppose that leads me to that second question which really relates to spending habits of wants versus needs so if somebody does uh, not have three to six months worth of living expenses set aside and or they have a student loan debt or consumer debt, should they be or should they have purchased a vehicle worth 10,000 US dollars or more? You might think of me as a little bit of a weirdo, but in North America anyway, I've never purchased a car worth 10,000 US dollars or more. My wife and I have a Winnebago Trabado. It's a class B camper van that costs less than 10 or more than $10,000 but I've never purchased a car or vehicle other than that that costs anywhere near 10,000 US dollars. We find low, mile, low mileage, decent vehicles. So back to those questions. Should we, in my chicken scratch here, should we be spending more after the dust settles to get the economy going, more than we or ordinarily would have? And my second question is, should somebody who still has student loan debt and or doesn't have three to six months worth of living expenses, actually have purchased a car worth more than 10,000 US dollars. Cars are the biggest depreciating assets. So very curious, again, please be respectful. I'd love to hear your opinions and see a lively debate. My name is Andrew Hallam, author of Millionaire Teacher and Millionaire Expat. Thank you, take care, stay safe.